Hi there, welcome back. This is Manoya. Reasons once again. Today we're going to look at how to put your emotions into your question, asking for reason. There are four chunks, and these four chunks are generally speaking informal. But considering that English is actually coming down to the lowest level, these informal chunks are also used in the formal world, informal situations. I'll give an example of the situation first before we go into the chunk. Then also, then we'll also look at the voice quality involved in that. How voice quality helps. Suppose your friend comes in and says that she's going to marry a person that you know is a scumbag. And what's going to be your reaction? Disgust. First, incredulity, of course. You don't believe that. And there's disgust and frustration that she doesn't believe in you. She doesn't listen to you. Now, you've got to put in all these emotions into your question. Suppose you ask a basic question, why? What's going to be the reaction? Think about that. Let's look at it. Why are you going to marry Dennis? Well, it's my business. And if you really want to know, that's what a girl does. Marry a boy. Stupid. She got angry, you never got your response. Because you didn't put the right emotions into that why. With why you just sounded nosy. Now let's look at it this way. Why ever do you want to marry Dennis? You know he's a scumbag. Well, you know, I kind of love him and uh, he proposed to me. And there's no yes, you know. So, now she's got the picture that you don't like that thing that she's going to do, marry a scumbag. You've put in your emotion, why ever? The three other chunks, apart from why ever, will be, why on earth are you going to marry him? Why on earth? What on earth are you going to marry him for? What on earth for? Whatever are you going to marry him for? Whatever for? Whatever blah for? The four chunks. Informal can be used in formal word as well. And it's used to pack your question with your emotions. Whatever for? Let's look at a few more examples here. Why do you want to go to the market? Do you know the COVID thing and all that? None of your business. And if you really want to know, I'm going to buy some dresses. She got angry. You didn't get your response because there was no emotion. The right emotions were not packed. Now look at this question. What on earth do you want to go to the market for? You know the COVID thing? Well, you know what? Uh, the, uh, I don't have any dresses really. But then, you know, I'll take care of everything. I got the... I got two masks and I got the sanitizer. I'm going to come back and bathe. Do everything, everything. Yeah, she's got that. She's got the fact that you don't like it, that emergency. If you really want to go, go. Otherwise, don't. That's there in the question. Here's another one. The boss wants to see you in his chamber. Why? I'm not a personal secretary. Go and ask him, idiot. Because... You didn't pack your emotions and you didn't get the warmth and the, 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 the understanding of your colleague. Instead, what could you have asked? Boss wants to see you in his chamber. What on earth for? Yeah, I know. Uh, all the best. Now you got his understanding, his warmth. One more example. Boss wants you to go to Jaipur. Why on earth? Oh my God. Yeah. Maybe you're getting a promotion. The right approach. Do you want me to give the wrong approach and the reaction? Let's look at that also. Boss wants you to go to Chepo. Why? To get his daughter married to you. Stupid. Go and ask him. Now here's another way of asking it. You simply stretch. Why? Boss wants you to go to Jaipur. Why? You know, it's like even the face, the body language. Look at my face. 
Why? Oh my god, I'm tired. Why me? Why? And your colleague understands, okay, you are frustrated because of the boss, not because of him. Now, let's look at some connotations here. Suppose uh, the son tells him, tells his father, Dad, I'm going to drop my exams this Sam. Now, what are the three ways in which your father can react? Whatever for. That means he's saying, no, you're not going to drop it. Skies may fall, but you won't drop your exams. Whatever for. Ever. Stress on ever. Whatever for. Look at that. Looking down his nose. Whatever for. Second expression. Whatever for. This one is saying, I thought you were ready. Whatever for. For. Stress on for. And suppose he stresses on both. Whatever for. Oh, why ever? That simply shows the shock. I'm tired of this idiot dropping his exams every time. Why ever do you want to drop your exams? So we got the three different types of connotations. Punching in three different kinds of emotions. So we know voice quality also plays a very big role. In the next video, we're going to look at another chunk, just one chunk, which also punches in an emotion of a different kind. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video, liking it and subscribing to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Until then.